Hi, hi. <laughs> Thanks for swinging by to check out my podcast. My name is Mr. K. I appreciate you. Now, I don't own any rights to the videos used in this particular podcast. I'm going to say that again. I don't own any rights to the videos used in this podcast. Right now, I think Russia is having things her way. Seven days of military invasion of Ukraine, stepping up the bombardment, artillery fire, hitting civilian targets, hospitals and what have you. It's crazy out there. Even though the Ukrainians have put forth a huge spirited defense of their country, some pundits would say Vladimir Putin underestimated the patriotism and will of the Ukrainians. However, we all know Ukraine is a mismatch with Russia in this war. NATO and Western allies are providing a great deal of assistance. However, they are not committing to a boots on the ground response in Ukraine. Sanctions have been organized and in unison like NATO promised before the invasion. However, Zelensky, President Zelensky of Ukraine needs more help and that cannot be overemphasized. Here's the thing. About 72 hours into the invasion, the Russian president put on red alert his nuclear war arsenal. He said it is a measure that is deterrent for any would-be intruders. His foreign minister, Sergei Lavrov, says the Third World War will be nuclear and highly destructive. Are you getting the drift? British Prime Minister Boris Johnson, on his visit to Poland yesterday, was told by a female Ukrainian journalist that NATO isn't sending boots on the ground because NATO was scared of starting a Third World War. She insisted the Third World War was here already. Well, I tend to believe that. As it were, the Ukrainian Deputy, Prime Minister, Deputy Minister of Veterans Affairs, her name is Inna Grangachuk, was asked the question, now that the government of your country is asking males between 18 and 60 to stay back and fight, are veterans coming back to sign up for combatant duties? She said, yeah. And that was shocking is that even civilians from other countries are making inquiries on how they can volunteer to fight on the side of Ukrainians in this war, even as far as Denmark. And there's a red flag there, very, very bold red flag right there. You can never tell the elements that will come in at the end of the day with that situation. Now, this tells you the situation is quite fluid. And nobody can actually or accurately foretell how far the world will go. But suffice it to say that there is a brewing global dimension to it already. So my suggestion to NATO is NATO should commit to align their boots on the ground. Let your troops move in to help defend Ukraine. Ukraine cannot do this alone. Forget the sort of threats coming from Vladimir Putin. That's my take on it. There's only so much patriotism and willpower can do against an adversary that is bigger, more equipped, and richer than you. That's my take once again on this. But don't forget, the terrorists are watching closely. They always do. Thanks a lot for checking out the podcast. Please like and share. My name is Mr. K, and I'm going to see you in another podcast. Bye. Um.